we recently talked about how under Jair Bolsonaro's leadership, deforestation of the Amazon rainforest is up 80% in comparison with last year, which is absolutely horrifying considering that the Amazon rainforest is largely known as the lungs of the earth. Now, in response to this increased brutal deforestation of the Amazon rainforest, Germany threatened to cut 35 million euros in aid if Jair Bolsonaro didn't, you know, pump the brakes a little bit. And his response to Germany was essentially, all right, that's fine. Don't need your money if there's going to be stipulations. So this individual is becoming one of the most dangerous people in the world. Because what he does in Brazil doesn't just affect Brazilians, it affects everyone on the planet. Now, about a week or so, I think less than a week, in fact, after we talked about Jair Bolsonaro and how deforestation has accelerated under his leadership, well, as you all know, the Amazon is currently on fire. It's on fire, and Jair Bolsonaro, even though he deployed Brazilian troops to help fight the fires, he's made it very clear that Brazil does not have the resources needed to fight these fires. And since this is an issue that affects everyone, French President Emmanuel Macron called it an international crisis, and he recommended, reasonably so, I think, that this is something that should have been discussed at the G7 summit. But because Macron recommended that global leaders address this very serious issue, Bolsonaro accused him of having a, quote, colonial mindset that was inappropriate in the 21st century, which is essentially the international equivalent of the weaponization of identity politics. So this is peak stupidity here. I mean, to say that Another leader taking an interest into what's happening in your country, if it affects the world, is having a colonial mindset. That's just, that's so stupid. I don't even know how to respond to that. And in true Trumpian fashion, what Jair Bolsonaro decided to do next was attack Emmanuel Macron. So a user on Jair Bolsonaro's Facebook page posted a meme comparing Macron and Bolsonaro's wives, essentially saying, look at the both of them, Macron is probably jealous, and Bolsonaro responded jokingly by saying, don't embarrass the guy. So let's just take a step back and reflect on what's happening. Jair Bolsonaro is mad that Macron had the audacity to recognize the international importance of the burning of the Amazon rainforest. So uh, he decided to attack Macron's wife for that. Now, I would love to tell you that that's the most craziest part of the story, but it's not. Because on Monday, Emmanuel Macron offered millions of euros to Brazil to help them fight the fires. And after Bolsonaro said, we don't have the resources to fight this, Guess what he did? He rejected the money that Macron offered. Now, thankfully, he hinted that he'd be open to change his mind, but, I mean, he already rejected aid from Germany. So, of course, like the petulant child that he is, he would also reject the aid from France. So, he's worse than Donald Trump. Donald Trump may actually literally be more mature than Jair Bolsonaro, which is almost unfathomable, but the Amazon rainforest, the Earth's lungs, is on fire, and Jair Bolsonaro is getting into these petty fights with world leaders who want to help. What an idiot! Now, Donald Trump himself, his hands aren't clean as well, because he is the president of the United States, but he's another idiot. He doesn't even believe that climate change is a thing, and as the leader of our country, he could say, maybe we should do something about the fact that the Amazon rainforest is burning. Maybe, Brazil, you should accept the aid from Germany and France. But he's not doing that. Now, we heard from a real leader and what this individual would do in the event he was president, and here's what Bernie Sanders said he would do to put pressure on Brazil in this situation when... We have to act. If you were president today, how would you pressure President Bolsonaro to I cut would out use those very fires? strong carrots and very strong sticks. I mean, you know, as, as people have said, uh, the rainforest uh, in the Amazon is the lungs of the of the planet. Uh, they are absorbing carbon dioxide. They are 
producing oxygen. You destroy that, you impact not only the people of Brazil, but the people of the entire planet. And we as a planet, I mean, you know, you have a president who literally thinks, uh, shockingly, that climate change is a hoax. If I'm elected president, I will lead the world as, as the leader of the most powerful nation on earth, bring countries together to understand that this is not an American issue, it's not a Brazilian issue, it's not a German issue or a Russian issue. We have got to go forward as a planet to transform our energy system. We are in it together. We are tied together. And we have got to, got to, got to transform our energy system. And I think when we do that, by the way, we can create many millions of jobs, not only in this country, but throughout the world. But would, what's going on in Brazil right now... Would you consider sanctions? Absolutely. Absolutely. What is going on in Brazil is extremely dangerous. And I think, as many people know, uh, the new president over there is a Trump acolyte. I mean, this is somebody who looks at the world the way Trump does, and that is very, very frightening. So I think uh, we would use all of the tools at our disposal, the carrots and the sticks, the punishments and the inducements, uh, to try to make sure that we stop the burning of the Amazon. And in fact, we work with the entire world uh, to move forward to protect the planet. And that is exactly what I would expect a leader to do. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. And if Brazil is going to act petulant, if Jair Bolsonaro is going to reject aid from other countries after saying Brazil itself can't fight these fires, then you have to take action. You have to take very sometimes, you know, aggressive action and impose sanctions. Now, I know what people will say, you know, sanctions aren't necessarily the best route. It's too aggressive. And, you know, sanctions oftentimes can hurt people. But here's how I respond to that. First of all, you can target the sanctions in a way so it limits the impact on people. But overall, we don't really have a choice. We have one planet. We have one planet. And in the event our planet is destroyed and it becomes uninhabitable, guess what happens? We can't move to Mars. We can't live on the moon. We die. So we don't have a choice. We have to be aggressive. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that we go to war with Brazil over this, but I'm saying we need a leader who will take action, who will put pressure on them. Because this is something that doesn't just affect Brazil. This affects everyone. And if you're worried about the pain that putting pressure on Brazil via sanctions would potentially cause, think about what is happening currently in the Amazon rainforest. There are indigenous tribes who are losing their home, all because Jair Bolsonaro thinks more and more of the Amazon rainforest should be privatized. And this is what's happening to indigenous people as the Amazon rainforest burns and Donald Trump sits idly by and does nothing. They're watching their homes vanish before their very eyes. The Waiyapi tribe have been the stewards of these waters and the land that caresses it. In return, the Amazon rainforest has given back with every drop and seed safeguarding their livelihood, tradition, and ultimately their survival. Nós aqui moramos dentro da pulmão da Amazônia, né? Porque essa Amazônia traz saúde para gente, né? Saúde para mundo, assim quer dizer. Essa a é no mundo, né? A poluído traz muito problema para gente, problema de saúde, tristeza. Por isso que nós preocupamos se mudança de climática, né, quer dizer, né? Essa é que nossa preocupação nós exige da manhã pi. For the isolated YAP, 1500 strong across 92 villages in Amapá state say they've never felt so under threat as they do today. And it seems not even the demarcation set by Brazil's 1988 constitution can protect them. That is now perilously close with President Jair Bolsonaro calling for protected and demarcated sections of the Amazon to be opened up to roads, ranching, farming and mining, arguing this demarcated area is too large for the indigenous and is hindering development.
On the ground, the YIP tell us they have already begun to feel the impact of his words and policies. This government is massacring our rights and our people indigenous. With getting payros, wildcat miners, loggers and ranchers invading and assaulting their land. Já estão iniciando, matando os povos indígenas e nós não queremos nenhuma gota de sangue mais. Audio provided to Brazilian journalists just after their chief was killed on July 22nd shows their urgency for action. A facada, várias furadas no, no corpo dele e no pênis dele e mataram muito feio. But they say the savagery didn't stop there. They enter in a house of indigenous people, they are hurting children, they are hurting women. They may be shaken, but the YAP are not running scared. Instead, in silence, they ward off evil spirits and ready for battle. No, no, I don't want to get that. That's just, it's tragic. Now, let me remind you that this is all happening while Donald Trump sits idly by and says and does nothing because corporations have got to make money. So that's more important than allowing these indigenous people to keep their homes. Capitalism is literally killing the planet because we have prioritized the profits of private companies above not just indigenous people and their lands and sovereignty, but over the entire planet that we live on. I mean, I don't even really know what to say about this. This is maddening. This is absolute lunacy. And I don't care what Jair Bolsonaro has to say. If he thinks that world leaders trying to help is colonialism, if he doesn't like that people are interested in the affairs of Brazil, too bad. Because what happens in Brazil, what happens in the Amazon rainforest affects all of us. So for you to just sit idly by and allow it to die and burn to the ground and not accept the help from you know world leaders because you're too petty, because maybe something that they said or worded in, in an improper way to you was off-putting or offensive, get over it. Because we don't care about your feelings, Jair Bolsonaro. We care about the planet. So, I mean, the rise of these Trumpian figures, it couldn't have happened at a worse time. I mean, the rise of fascism, it's never welcome. We never want to see these far-right demagogues spring to power like this, but the fact that it's happening now when we need to take swift and drastic action to combat climate change, I mean, I don't know what to say. It's just, it's devastating to see this happen.